Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes uh, Devon, and on this fine uh, May bank holiday weekend at the end of April 2023, we're doing a quick walk around video on this absolute cute as a button, a really high spec, well converted Pioneer Campers Nissan NV200. So these are really cool, I love this. So Pioneer Conversions, they're a conversion company from Sussex, I believe. And this is a one owner since conversion, two owner, 2016 conversion on a Nissan NV200. So for those that want something to use every day, or as a second vehicle, something that's smaller than a Volkswagen, that will fit in any standard parking space, uh, go under any height barrier and do everything a car will do and yet be a fully facilitated camper uh, this is just the job so I really like this van I'd like to buy this but I can't afford it but this would be uh, just the job for me so it's a 2016 Nissan MV200 I think it was converted in 2019 don't hold me to that but I think it was let's have a little look at the window sheet so Nissan MV200 uh, four seat belts two berth it's got diesel hob stroke heating there's four seat belts just a two berth the uh, the roof bed is too small really to fit a roof uh, a roof bed in the roof it's two and a half tons that's a normal car license based on the nissan mv200 so 1.5 turbo diesel this will do ridiculous fuel economy it's the same engine as renault and datsa amongst others use and nissan put it in loads of things from cash guys to jukes it's a super engine Pulls really well, I've done a few miles in this, drives really well, it's only done 46,000 miles. It was based on the um, sort of people carrier version, not a van, so it's not led any sort of hard life. It's only 4.5 metres long, that's way shorter than a pickup truck or a Range Rover, it's way shorter than a short wheelbase VW. Only 1.75 wide, so it's narrower than a VW, 6 inches, uh, 15 centimetres narrower, and it's 1.94 tall with the roof down that means you can fit under all the two meter height barriers price is 26.95 now you'd pay um well north of 30 for one of these at the same age from the converter and this one's got some bits on it as well so it's a really really nice van so it's looking really smart in the uh, light gray metallic it's got alloy wheels and um, electric mirrors coming around the near side and um, we'll have a look at the inside in a moment you've got two sliding doors and then you've got a tailgate because you can buy these with tailgates or barn doors. So this is the tailgate, which is really good. So you can lift it up, gives you a bit of shelter. Um, now this is an RIB rib bed um, from France. These are the best camper beds on the market. I've got one in my van. Now you can slide this backwards and forwards for more loading space. I've got it right back at the moment for more interior space, but you've still got storage underneath. Really, really smart, all nicely finished off. Comes with a clip on table and also uh, we bought off the previous owner some rainbow silver screens for darkening and insulating the cab windscreen which is really good as well. Now up on the roof there, so it's one lady owner, it's got a full service history and she just got the cam belt and big, big sort of work done just before it came into us as well, which is really good. On the roof, there's a very large solar panel. I believe it's got two leisure batteries. Don't hold me to that because I don't even know where you'd fit two, but I believe there are two, but it's maybe just one, but it's set up for off-grid sort of camping she very rarely went on campsites because you'll fit it in a parking space you can camp anywhere with this so yeah really really big powerful solar panel on the roof really good leisure battery second door if this is open yeah it is so that gives you access for your water tank back there this we'll talk about more inside but that's a really cool bit of kit and you've got all your battery charger your your solar controller your trip switch is all nicely boxed away in there cab specification is very good so we've got lecky windows we've got lecky mirrors we've got steering wheel controls cruise control we've got air conditioning central locking five-speed manual pulls really well single passenger seat that is on a swivel now you have to raise it up height wise and then swivel it around so it's a little bit involved to do but you can do it easy enough and it's recently had a uh, DAB uh, stereo system uh, fitted as well um, which is great uh, heated screen on the rear yeah and it's got the uh, the Bluetooth with the speaker for your phone up there as well and it's so diddy it just drives like a car so it's really really good um, condition outside is that a mark 
Yeah, very little mark there. The odd tiny little mark there. That's that's about it. Roof is in perfect condition, and it's only a small roof, so it's really easy to put up. Uh, tiny, tiny little scratch there. That I could virtually rub out. So yeah, yeah, it's your little tiny little mark in keeping with the with the Asian mileage of the vehicle, but not a lot. So coming inside, it is obviously a small van, but for one or for two at a push, it would do a fine job. So to make the bed on this, you just slide this unit forward. So this whole seat unit can come forward, but you can still get in your fridge because it stops there. Pull a lever and this will rotate down to there. Pull a bar, that drops in. Simple. And then you've got a, a, you've got a, a comfortable little double bed. You've got access to your storage. That's the original stereo, which it comes with as well. That's the box for the new stereo. Pioneer one, it's a good thing. Little tie down points here for any kit that you might put in the back. Like a great fishing van for someone this as well. So we've got storage there, storage underneath as well. Up here we've got a proper CBE control panel which tells you how much battery power you've got, temperatures, lights, electric water pump on off switch. Loads and loads of plug sockets been fitted so we've got double USB there, double USB there, so that's four. And over here we've got mains and two more USBs so you can charge all your gear. Everything's really nicely finished. Blackout curtains to come across. We've got one, two, three opening um, sort of vents and windows in the roof, which is all good. Cute little sink with a bit of worktop. 12 volt fridge freezer down here. Or well, 12 volt fridge even, no freezer compartment in that one, but 12 volt fridge. And then this, which wasn't standard on the conversion, this is one of the many upgrades this one's got. This is really cool. So we've got, never seen one of these before, I knew they existed though. So that runs off diesel, believe it or not. So it runs off diesel from your fuel tank, so it's tremendously economical and it's a hob. And also, because it's diesel powered, not gas, this is a heater. So when this came in part exchange, the previous owner had a night in it the night before in quite cold weather. And, uh, and yeah, that did a, a fine job of heating. You've got LED lights all the way around. These are, have a night light option or a full lighting option as well. You've got down lighters underneath the cabinet work as well there. And it's just a really cool little camper. I love it. Um, not a lot more to say about it, really. So it's 2016. Uh, I can't remember what the mileage was. It's whatever I said, 48,000 miles. Fully kitted out. So you've got heating. You've got the table back there, which clips onto here. Um, swivel passenger seat, you've got roof bed, when the roof is up you've got storage all up there as well which is smart, made it absolute best use of the space. We've also got this little reading light back here with another USB in it in case you don't have enough chargers. That's seven USBs, that's a two stage light as well, that's really cool. Yeah, it's an absolute little cracker this, I love it. So, Pioneer Campers. Nissan MV200 at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon, 26995. Uh, loads of interest in this one. Uh, it's not had a lot of luck because we've we've actually sold it oh, a couple of times, three times, and people keep on people having to cancel through no fault of the van. So give it a home, this one, folks. It's an absolute belter and it's a good thing at the money. 26995, 2016 plate. Give us a call as soon as you can. 01626 832 792. Now, if we're out here doing videos, talking to customers, call direct on that mobile number 07432 662558. That'll get you through to myself or one of my team. Check us out on the hybridcaravans.co.uk website. You can come and visit us at, at Teen Grace, Newton Abbott, just off the A38 South Devon Expressway. We're incredibly easy to get to. And uh, ask us about this really, really smart Pioneer converted Nissan NV200. Thank you very much. Goodbye.